there everyone welcome back this is Christine of Girl Traveler hoping your holidays were extra special to you and fun today I want to share with you what I got for Christmas okay that's like the blanket title I put out a written guide on my blog um, called the ultimate gift guide for travelers dissecting all the different types of travelers out there from vacationers to adventure travelers do-it-yourselfers but when I filmed it I was filming it the night before I had to leave for China and I was still packing and rushing when I looked at the footage it was just all dark 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 I had to do it again now after Christmas I thought I'd go ahead and just share some of that with you and this video is more like kind of like a gear review uh, to kind of like show you what's out there I do is I'm I'm gonna review some of the gifts that I put on my blog post um, and these are stuff that I already have were gifted or actually bought as gifts to myself first up for adventure travelers this this is actually it could be for any traveler really because every day everybody these days carries a lot of devices this is my second solar battery charger and I haven't fully tested the solar capacity on this and how good the charge is um, but I'm really excited by it. The fact that it charges by the sun as well as via USB adapter makes it a really good um, thing to have. Proof it charges two devices at once. If you've ever seen my uh, travel survival tips for surviving hostel stays, then you recognize this little spongy character. This is a self-eating bag. And this is my favorite. This has lasted me over a decade. My sister got this for me um several christmases ago and i am in love with it my sister thinks of like the best travel gifts to give me like stuff that i would have never thought of i put anything from groceries like a full bag of groceries in here to you know like toiletries and whatnot it's just great and it's got this handle you can easily wash it it's also yeah it dries really quickly too what i like is obviously that it can eat itself like this and I can quickly pack it up and use it again stick it in my backpack these come in super handy I'll place the link to my travel survival hostel tips um, in the description box below as well so the wrinkle is I actually got this from a fellow viewer out there who sent me an entire goodie box of travel gear I posted that video um, on my channel he's sent like all this amazing stuff which I'd never really thought of this is perfect for business travelers and anyone who really is always running late for work um, or doesn't like to iron their clothes this is like a hotel iron in a bottle it takes only a few seconds you spray it onto your clothing you pull that area tight and the, the wrinkles fall away you can see the difference between this area that I sprayed and the area that I didn't spray I've used this a lot while running late for work. I just like spray it onto my outfit. I pull my outfit really quickly as I'm running and getting things and then I'm good to go. Vacation travelers. These travel on waterproof travel pouches are perfect for your mobile phone. The concept is that you put your mobile phone in here and you seal it up. There are pros and cons to using this. You can submerge it underwater and supposedly take photos and video from this waterproof pouch. Um, it's got a floaty device as well as a lanyard so you can hang it around your neck. One thing I always suggest travelers to do is to place like a tissue in, in this pouch, seal it up, submerge it in your sink first to see if there are any holes in it. This is good for if you're going to take it near the ocean or a lake, uh, you're afraid of you know it fall, your phone falling into water and getting all wonkety. The cons to this is that sometimes if you don't seal this right, like if you don't press out all the air, um, your phone kind of has a mind of its own and sometimes you'll lose actual control like try submerging it just a little underwater during snorkeling and there are times that i'll hit record and i'll try and stop it and it just doesn't stop i would suggest playing with this a bit before submerging it and you know playing underwater with it this was a previous gift for my sister actually she just comes up with the greatest ideas so bags, suitcases, whatever has a handle that you can attach this to. In essence, you can attach anything else to that fits in this clip. The selfie cam lens. This is for your travel influencer or just anyone who kind of wants to do like major selfies. And this helps give you a wide angle 
lens for your mobile device. That's the difference. And it's kind of like a knockoff Taiwanese version that I got in Taiwan that I paid like under $5 for. The quality of my lens is not that great. So therefore my, my photos tend to be a little more washed out. And there is some kind of like uh, light coming through that is visible when I record sometimes. The cheaper, the cheaper knockoff really just means the lens quality isn't as good, um, not as sharp and not as crystal focused. This is what I'm gathering. It's handy if you want to do travel selfies and capture more of a landscape. Just have to remember which way to put it when you're filming yourself. On my gift guide post, I put like an Eagle Creek Spectre it um, toiletry bag, onboard toiletry bag, and that was kind of like my wish list. I went to China, I actually found it at one of those $2 stores. This is handy, I've been wanting one of these because my toiletry bag is has broken. And this allows me to put my toiletries in here, as well as, this is the great part, hang it. And I can have all my toiletries organized. I've held out for a long time on getting a GoPro. There's so many accessories that I didn't want to have to constantly invest in. If you're ever wanting to find a time to get a GoPro, this would be it. And that's because with GoPro Hero 5, there's only a Hero 5, as well as a Session, but you want the Hero 5 because it has several features which remove the need for accessories. You have a built-in LCD screen right here. You can change the views right here. Um, medium is like that. Wide, you can see a little bit more of my room and this is not the view I want because my room happens to be super messy right now. And super wide. Voice control, that's an extra accessory to have to buy if, if I want to control it via my voice. Video stabilization, yes. Stereo audio mic input, which is good because if you ever want to set a mic to this, then supposedly you could. And I haven't checked that out yet. Um, but I like that it has advanced wind noise reduction. That's a big problem when you are travel vlogging. The other thing I also like, which, which GoPro already had, was that I can review uh, my footage from my iPhone as well as view what's on this screen via my iPhone. So I can potentially take uh, selfie shots at a distance and just kind of like know how to line them up. This goes up to 4K. Um, currently, there's I don't really have the capability to edit 4K, so it's still gonna have to get knocked down to like 1440 or 1080. As a reminder, I will place that link to my ultimate gift guide for travelers down in my description box below. It'll cover anything from adventure travelers, do-it-yourselfers, uh, vacation travelers, business travelers, uh, mail explorers. Uh, it's just a fun guide that I thought of and I really actually did think of like the things that I would recommend to people that I've already gotten in the past or would recommend to other people or kind of like were on my wish list for this Christmas. I mean, get some of that. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. What what are, what are do you think about some of the items that I shared with you? Would you use them? Um, what are some items maybe you received for Christmas? Until then, I hope your holidays were friendly. Enjoy New Year's. May the girl be with you.